10 Most Popular Harley-Davidson Motorcycles Street Glide The Harley-Davidson Street Glide got a slow start. Riders couldn't understand where it fit into their lineup. However, despite the slow beginning sales, the models following the initial release gained traction and popularity. The Street Glide started as a personal project to satisfy one man's desire for a bike to fit his needs. However, it now resonates with riders looking for a sporty touring bike. The bike comes loaded with innovative technology and luxury features, making the bike a popular option for those with larger budgets. Popularity has grown to the point where Harley now has four variants, the Street Glide, Street Glide Street, Street Glide Special, and CVO Street Glide. 48. As one of the smallest motorcycles in the Harley-Davidson lineup, the 48 fills a certain void. The super low seat and skinny frame make this bike perfect for smaller riders that would find the larger Harleys too overwhelming. Despite the bike being over 500 pounds, the low center of gravity makes it surprisingly nimble. The Harley-Davidson 48 is also the perfect urban bike. It makes like practicality for long rides, but it's sure to make a statement when pulling up to the meet. The extra small teardrop-shaped fuel tank harkens back to classic motorcycle design giving the bike a touch of heritage. And the overall look of the motorcycle is raw, powerful, and compact. Dyna Wide Glide The Harley-Davidson Dyna Wide Glide made its first appearance in the 90s. However, the Glide lineup has deeper roots dating back to the 70s. Despite taking a brief hiatus, the Wide Glide has become one of the best-selling bikes produced by the motorcycle company. Unlike other bikes sporting the Harley emblem, we haven't seen much change in the Wide Glide all the way until it was discontinued. It still had the original V-twin engine that everyone knew and loved. This lack of change fostered familiarity and comfort among enthusiasts, helping to keep the Wide Glide as one of the most in-demand bikes from Harley. Electra Glide The Harley-Davidson Road King is another product of the Florida series. While it made its first introduction in 1994, you can trace its roots back to the 1940s. Back then, it featured the iconic panhead engine. However, it has seen many improvements and evolutions over the years. That batwing fairing became standard and over the years became a staple feature of the bike. Before the model was discontinued, it came with the Milwaukee 8V twin engine, the latest emulsion technology rear shock absorbers, and plenty of comfort features. It's no surprise that the Harley-Davidson Electra Glide is one of the most popular Grand American touring bikes on the road. The last model came out in 2022 and has since been replaced by various other Glide versions that continue the touring tradition the Electra Glide personified for so many years. Dyna Wide Glide The Harley-Davidson Dyna Wide Glide made its first appearance in the 90s. However, the Glide lineup has deeper roots dating back to the 70s. Despite taking a brief hiatus, the Wide Glide has become one of the best-selling bikes produced by the motorcycle company. Unlike other bikes sporting the Harley emblem, we haven't seen much change in the Wide Glide all the way until it was discontinued. It still had the original V-twin engine that everyone knew and loved. This lack of change fostered familiarity and comfort among enthusiasts, helping to keep the Wide Glide as one of the most in-demand bikes from Harley. Pan America this wouldn't be a Harley list without including their flagship, and so far only, adventure motorcycle. And what a doozy this bike turned out to be. Not only did it outsell the grand pappy of all ADVs, the BMW R1200GS, in the American market, it proved to the entire two-wheel riding world that Harley-Davidson can in fact produce a successful motorcycle that isn't a cruiser. Sporting a brand new Revolution Max liquid-cooled engine, Something much closer to a European power plant than one of its own Milwaukee-based beasts, the Pan America came equipped with all sorts of class-leading goodies. The standout of course was the adjustable suspension, which lowered the entire bike as it came to a stop. This technology opened the Pan Am up to shorter riders, which could then flat-foot the large bike at any stop. Now if only we could convince Harley to release that other motorcycle they've been teasing us with for several years now. Road King the Harley-Davidson Road King is another product of the Florida series. While it made its first introduction in 1994, you can trace its roots back to the 1940s. Riders love the Road King because it gives you the best of everything. 
cruise around town on short rides or put that big powerful engine to work on long rides. The simplicity of this bike makes it easy to customize, so you can make a standard production bike unique to you. In addition, helping the Road King sales is its usage by police and fire departments across the country. Softail. The Harley-Davidson Softail is a love letter to classic bike design. It features a vintage-inspired look that the Harley-Davidson motorcycles of the 50s had. We have Bill Davis to thank for the Softail design. He customized his Super Glide to give it a softer suspension and then took it to Harley to show them his prototype. Harley now offers a complete lineup of Softail motorcycle models. There is the Fat Bob 114, Fat Boy 114, Heritage Classic, Low Rider South, Low Rider Street, Softail Standard, and Street Bob 114. Sportster. The Harley Davidson Sportster is easily the best selling motorcycle from the HD brand. With production starting in 1957, there have been many versions of the bike, but the basic features stayed the same. You may not recognize the first models because they sported the name, K Series. Throughout the generations, Sportster motorcycles helped riders break records, perform stunts, and it helped save the Harley brand. V Rod. Manufactured from 2001 through 2017, Harley Davidson produced the V Rod lineup to compete with other popular muscle bikes. Porsche collaborated with Harley to build a bike that dramatically departed from the typical models you see in the Harley lineup. For example, the fuel tank is under the seat, not in front. In addition, the frame and radiator support the air cleaner cover, which sits where the fuel tank used to sit. Harley also eschewed the classic aesthetics of their other bikes for something more sporty looking. Instead of culture marketing, Harley focused on the bike's performance abilities. The result was the Harley-Davidson V-Rod becoming a top-selling bike internationally for Harley. In the United States, it drew in riders who typically preferred other manufacturers.